Pizza. Math Story Counting in Tens and Ones Uncle Science and His Farm To reward the kids for their bravery and goodness, Uncle Math decides to take them out on a picnic to a beautiful farm. It is going to be my first farm visit. I am very excited. Thank you, Uncle Math. As they enter, they see a cow, a goat, <laughs> carrots and a lot of tomatoes. Somewhere far, they also spot Uncle Science working on the farm. Hello, Hello Uncle, Uncle Science. Science. Uncle Science is Uncle Math's friend. Seeing the kids and meeting his friend after a long time, he is elated. Do you want to have some fun? I need to pick vegetables and arrange them in the baskets so that the vegetable sellers can easily sell them. Will you help me kids? Definitely. They quickly pick fresh carrots and tomatoes. They carry these vegetables to the storeroom for packing in the baskets. Let us first pack tomatoes. We need to put 8 tomatoes in each basket. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and my first basket is done. Good job kids. Now we need to pack 15 carrots in each basket. Kids follow his instructions again. Sirho decides to go first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Finally, one carrot basket is ready. Phew! It took quite long, didn't it? Yes, this is too time consuming. Surely there must be a fast way to pack these. Uncle Matt, can you help us? Of course, I will help you children. When you were packing 8 tomatoes, the process was easy and quick because 8 is a small number. As the numbers increase, this method of counting one item at a time is tedious, right? To reduce this time, I have a trick. Uncle Math makes a group of 10 carrots and keeps 3 carrots beside the group. How many carrots are these? 13. Perfect! How did you count so fast? Because you grouped 10 carrots and kept 3 carrots separately. I could quickly count them. Amazing, Triho! This shows that number 13 has one group of 10s and 3 ones. Similarly, if I want 15 carrots, I will make one group of 10s and 5 ones. Using the tomatoes, Uncle Math and the kids find the group of 10s and 1s in numbers 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19. Amazing! Finding 10s and 1s up to the number 19 was fun. But what about number 20? Oh, Cyril, this is so simple. Number 20 has one group of 10s and 10 ones. Correct, Uncle Matt? Yes, you are right. But this can be simplified as 10 ones together form another group of 10s. We can simply say that the number 20 has two groups of 10s. How many groups of 10s will number 8 have? One group of 10s. The number 8 will not have any group of 10s as it can be made only using 8 ones. Using 10s and 1s, they pack the baskets faster than before. Phew! All the baskets are packed now. You saved so much of my time. Thank you, kids. Everybody is glad they could offer some help. Now it is time to head back home. My first farm visit, an adventurous day of counting and packing so many baskets. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Alright, then let me give you a bigger number to count in tens and ones. No! <laughs> we learned that to count big numbers quickly, we can easily group them into tens and ones. For example, 16 is made up of one group of tens and six ones. Sometimes it is important to think differently to find quick solutions. Let's discuss. Which animals and vegetables were there on the farm? What was the quick method suggested by Uncle Matt to count vegetables? When we felt the method was time consuming, we questioned Uncle Matt and Uncle Science. Is it right to question your teachers or elders? Why or why not? 
follow us on Fun to Do Labs to enjoy watching more such math stories, songs, and games.